In the winter of 92, a Chinese freighter was crossing mid-Pacific. A storm came up, rocked the boat, causing damage that was quite specific. A shipping container marked first year's slid Port wood with gathering speed It hit the rail with a great thud Split open and fell into the sea Oh my God, said the first mate As the flotsam was beginning to grow A great armada of rubber ducks Was bobbing in the ocean below they drifted off to the northeast, all formed in a line. Don't worry, said the captain, they'll sink, everything will be fine. They'll sink, everything will be fine. 29,000 ducks floating in the ocean. Into Earth's biggest bathtub, they did die. Yellow rubber ducks heading to Alaska No one ever thought they would survive the ocean tide Nine months later a fishing crew was puzzled by what they found Dozens of yellow rubber ducks swimming in Sitka Sound The oldest city in Alaska that's where they washed ashore. Eighty miles west was the rest of the flock, some 29,000 more. Ebbesmeyer was in his office when the first phone call came. How the hell did they get here? The oceanographers must explain. He replied, the Aleutian current is driving them with its force. According to my calculations, the rest must be headed north. The rest must be headed north. 29,000 ducks floating in the ocean. Into Earth's biggest bathtub they did dive. Yellow rubber ducks heading to the Arctic. thought they would survive the ocean tide. The freezing arctic waters will make the rubber stiff. Then icebergs will do the dirty work and smash the ducks to bits. Ebbesmeyer smiled grimly as he announced the duck sure doom. His colleagues nodded knowingly as they filed from the conference room. The Arctic winds blew bitter as the ducks passed the Bering Strait. Their rubber skins grew brittle as they sailed toward their sad fate. But recent global warming had made the temperature increase. And the iceberg stayed well to the north while the ducks raced to the east. The ducks raced to the east. 29,000 ducks floating in the ocean. Into Earth's biggest bathtub they did dive. Yellow rubber ducks to the North Atlantic. No one ever thought they would survive the ocean tide. Some ducks washed up in Greenland along its glacial shore. Then just four months later, a few were spotted off Labrador. Epps Meyer phone rang daily with sightings and reports. So he called his friend the climatologist to ask him for his thoughts. His friend said, I'm sorry, the outlook is quite dire. Solar rays break down rubber with its ultraviolet fire. But the only effect of the sun's rays was to bleach their color light. The fleet continues southward 
with the U.S. now in sight. The U.S. now in sight. 29,000 ducks floating in the ocean. Into Earth's biggest bathtub they did dive. Yellow rubber ducks heading to New England. No one ever thought they would survive the ocean tide. If you stroll on Cape Cod sands later on this week, and you should spot a yellowish bird with a slightly orange beak, back off slowly, but please do not delay. Dial the U.S. Navy, the Underway. The invasion is underway. 29,000 ducks floating in the ocean. Into Earth's biggest bathtub they did dive. Yellow rubber ducks heading to Washington. No one ever thought they would survive.